cannot believe I've got all my daughters under one roof. So her parents believe their straight daughter brought home her lesbian friend for Christmas? Not exactly. They also think that I'm straight. Have they ever met a lesbian? This film is so funny, so heartwarming. And the trailer actually, when it first dropped, got so much love on social media. What does it mean to be a part of a film that speaks to so many men and women, especially in the LGBTQ community, that get to see themselves and their love story now represented on screen? If it is like a queer story, typically I want to watch it. I not only want to support the fact that those perspectives are becoming a little bit more predominant, but also because I'm genuinely interested. The idea that people got excited for even just the trailer to come out makes me like gleefully happy because um, I would be doing the same thing. If I wasn't in this movie, I would definitely want to be. You know, you put so, so much into something because you just, it's your baby, you know, and you don't know if people are going to like take care of it or tear it apart or what. And to see, you know, the, to see the support and to see the love for it has just, it, it really, it, it makes me feel really emotional and really just grateful. You know, what so many people go through, because often people come out to their families at the holidays because that's when they're all together. I think it really gives lots of different versions of how that can go. There's so many moving scenes about that subject, but like any good rom-com, it's also hilarious. I didn't tell my parents I'm gay. So who do they think I am? This is Harper's orphan friend, Abby. Yes, of course. They're there. A big part of the story is, of course, the emotions that are tied to wanting your family's acceptance, which is something that I feel like we all hope for to a certain degree. Were you able to relate to that? And what would you say to people that are maybe still struggling to feel accepted by their friends or family? I definitely relate to the experience of going home to your family and finding yourself sort of locked in whatever age you were when you first left home and whether that involves, you know, not revealing the ways that you've changed in gentler ways or if it's it's sort of a higher stakes situation like it is in the movie, um, I, I absolutely identify with it. I can relate to being in love with somebody that is too afraid to show the world who they are. <laughs> What are you doing in the closet? It can be a challenge. It can be really difficult to like first get to know who you are and then also be that person with the people you love the most. The lesson of this movie is that everyone needs to do things in their own time. And also that you should be able to be yourself and be accepted for who you are. And whether or not that's with your actual family or with your chosen family, if you can find a community of people that you connect with who accept you for who you are, you should certainly surround yourself with those people. This is why I avoid Christmas. It brings out the worst in everything. I've always skated circles around you. <laughs> I love it when they do this. You're such a cheater! It makes it so fun. No, really? Such an all-star cast. Kristen Stewart, Dan Levy, Mackenzie Davis, Allison Br I mean, the list just goes on. What was it about these guys that just gelled and made them perfect for these roles? We really assembled this group of people who are, you know, lights out, incredible actors, but also just such phenomenal human beings that I would want to be stuck on a desert island with any one of them. What was it like working with these guys? Because I feel like even the banter that you guys have right now, I feel like it'd be so hard to get anything done on set. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there were times where it was like, shut so up. So fun. We got along so well, we were laughing on set, like we felt like a family immediately, so that was really special. I'm here to rescue you. Are you the ex-boyfriend? Yes, I am very sexually attracted to her. Mm. A female. I nailed that and she is fabulous. And what are the holidays like for you guys? Because this film is all about crazy characters and personalities all coming together for the holidays under one roof. In my case, lots of little kids, lots of dogs. There are dogs everywhere. Allison's house has more cats than dogs, cats. I think. Mm -hmm. um, and, but ours has more dogs than cats. And it's just lots of food, lots of noise, and a whole lot of love. Pretty much the same for me, but with cats. It's a really very heightened time of year. You're you're seeing everybody, you're maybe coming together for the first time in a long time. That's why holiday movies are so important to us, is that it is it becomes a part of a tradition, and a, a source of comfort. I'm not hiding you, I am hiding me. Everybody's story is different. Just because Harper isn't ready doesn't mean she doesn't love you.